told me once that there was the aesthetic of dumb about the Seattle music scene, that the music wasn't stupid, but it was dumb. You know, Mud Honey's not stupid, but they're a little bit dumb. My mom has always told me that I'm not a loser. So the whole loser thing, I never believed in, because clearly I'm not a loser. And Mark, I think your mom has told you the same thing. We're not losers. I guess it's really easy to think of yourself as a loser, because then you don't care if people like you or not. You know, that's sort of the, the idea, and then you can do whatever you want. And it's funny. We were the guy in high school who people used to beat up. And we couldn't even talk to the pretty girl. I mean, we couldn't... We're nerds, goddammit! Well, I, I think ever since Spinal Tap came out, I mean, they were like pointing the finger at bloated, overly commercialized, diluted bands. And uh, we just looked at ourselves and said, well, we don't have to point at somebody else. We can... You be the cat! I'll be the mouth! You be the cat! Some bands get on stage and they're they're basically entertainers. They have you know they have a shtick. They are giving you a show. Some bands get up there and they rock, and you can tell the difference. That's why Seattle bands tend to be a little bit inconsistent live. I think is because most of them aren't really up there to be entertainers. They're up there to rock out, and their best shows are when they're having the most fun, not when they necessarily have their act down because maybe they don't have an act. If it's connected, <laughs> I became aware that there was a certain regional sound developing, and nobody had a name for it. That's punk rock, and one day they just sort of started going, um... And that was grunge. The most noisy. The music of Seattle is as progressive as the people. Listen to Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, Nirvana. Where else can you get the Seattle sound? Best Buy. Once there was this grunge singer who did all the things grunge singers would do. You get on a carpet. Loud music with heavy vocals. Is it mutant rock and roll? Have we ever used chainsaws and axes? Are they contributing anything to the world they're taking so much from? Mud Honey's sort of like watching the market right now. In October 1993, this group's Versus album debuted at number one with sales of 950,000 copies. Jeremy. Who is Pearl Jam? Yeah, pop music for 400. <laughs> Does this look like we're unhappy or cynical? Playing the posies. Weird Al Yankovic. Pearl Jam! Hey, butthead, where's Seattle? Seattle. 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 Seattle? Thanks, phone dude. I think now's the time that I should be announcing my candidacy for mayor of Seattle. When the whole thing was just out of control and, and uh, press people were visiting our office at the rate of two or three a week, it seemed like very few of them had even the most remote clue of what was really going on in Seattle. Glossy print ad with a fancy red car and a background and they're saying something about grunge. I think people are going to go out and buy this car. They're going to look at this ad and go, fuck you. When you're close to something, you feel you know the truth about it. And when People magazines writing about it, you know they're, they're not going to have the truth. They have a very distorted view of it. And you realize that that's what the entire world sees and that's what the entire world thinks about and, you re and they're wrong. nothing to do except just start poking fun at the entire thing and so instead of saying no I really don't know that person it would turn into oh sure every Monday morning we eat banana splits at breakfast time Shuby Doo used to be my roommate or you know I'll tell you he has a horrible case of the squirts after he has Indian food and like you just start making up every single lie you can and then try to the goal was to just get crazy rumors circulating all the time there's a big element of put on involved with all seattle music i mean uh, kurt cobain's goofy name spellings uh, uh, a lot of sub pops world domination kind of attitude i mean the whole thing's ridiculous 75 percent for life.